Hi friends, this is Raj Shekhar, a GATE faculty for electrical machines. Today in this video, we are going to discuss transformer at no load condition. Let's see, this is my transformer. Primary winding given by rated supply voltage. Primary winding given by rated supply voltage and a voltmeter and ammeter connected here and the secondary side is no load condition open circuited when there is no load then there is no current my current on the secondary side is zero and here generally here load is zero when load is zero there is no current in any devices in any devices if load is not connected, then current should not go. But even under no load condition, even under no load condition, the transformer draws a small current from the supply. That small current is called no load current I naught. That small current is called no load current I naught. So here, the no load current of the transformer no load current of the transformer I naught is equals to 2 to 6 percent of full load current. 2 to 6 percent of full load current. This is important. Sir, why this no load current? In general, at no load, the transformer should not draw the current. But here, my transformer draws the small current. Why? Because this no load current used to compensate used to compensate used to compensate no load losses no load losses used to compensate no load losses of the transformer or core losses of the transformer core losses of the transformer this is my no load current i naught this I naught value around 2 to 6 percent of full load current. Generally, at this condition, at this condition, to analyze clearly, I am drawing its equivalent electrical circuit. The core equivalent electrical circuit, once you see here, for example, this is my core equivalent electrical circuit core equivalent electrical circuit here the core draws a current is called I naught the core having some resistance is taken as R naught having some reactance is taken as X naught and here the current flows through the R naught is taken as I W the current flows through the reactance is taken as I mu. Here, the I naught is divided into two parts. One is the I w and other one is the I mu. Here, in generally, where the flux produces, in generally, which current will produce the flux, I w or I mu? Generally, the I mu produces the flux. That's why this I mu is called magnetizing current. Magnetizing current. This I mu is called magnetizing component of current. And next one, in generally, at which place, at which place losses will take place, pure inductor consumes zero power. Pure inductor losses zero. So here total losses takes at R naught only. That's why this IW is called working component of current. Working component of current. IW is called magnetizing component of current. Always the magnetizing component of current is very greater than working component of current. In generally, if this I naught is 2 to 6%, if this I naught is 2 to 6 percent, 
in that mostly the working component is around 1 to 3 percent only remaining around 3 to 5 percent of current is our I mu around 3 to 5 percent of current is I mu this is a working component of current or active component of current this is magnetizing component of current or reactive component of current reactive component of current this is what the equivalent circuit angles explanation okay next i am going to draw the i am going to draw the vector diagram for this this is the supply voltage v of course these are in parallel so here also the voltage is v here also the voltage is v because these all are in parallel so draw the vector diagram for this vector diagram we know how the vector diagram here the supply voltage and here the induced voltage we know already yes or no and and here the flux here the flux we know this is also this is a normal diagram one see here what is the angle between voltage and current here what is the angle between voltage and current here both are in phase to each other because this is a pure resistive because of pure resistive the iw is in series or in phase with voltage v and what is the phase displacement between voltage and i mu this is a pure inductor in pure inductor the current is 90 degrees lagging 90 degrees lagging that's why this i mu produces the flux what is sum of this i mu and i w sum of i w and i mu is i naught the sum of these two the sum of these two is i naught sum of these two is i naught so tell me what is i naught i naught is equals to square root of i w square plus i mu square i w square square plus i mu square this is what i naught and uh, the angle between voltage and i naught is nothing but the no load power factor angle phi naught no load power factor angle phi naught no load current i naught this is the no load vector diagram of my transformer no load vector diagram of my transformer this is the no load equivalent circuit are you okay from this finally at no load condition there is no current in the n2 number of turns there is no current in the n2 number of turns hence there is no flux produced but there is a small current in n1 number of turns in n1 number of turns small current flows through the n1 number of turns then it produces some flux that flux is called that flux is called the no load flux phi naught that flux is called the no load flux phi naught at no load condition the flux is phi naught this phi naught is only due to i naught current which flows through the n1 number of turns i naught current which flows through the n1 number of turns it produces some flux is called the no load flux phi naught at no load condition the flux is phi naught this is a transformer at no load condition transformer at no load condition are you okay right thank you